Somebody asked me something yesterday, and I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, he was like, why do you do it? And I told him the whole, like, normal spiel that I tell everybody. How me and my wife run it, and we do it to, like, compete against each other. And, like, just motivate each other. But really, I don't know why I do it. I guess because I want to stay in shape. And it's a lot easier for me to do this than to actually work out. After the mentality of when you go into a race, the worst case scenario is you just walk a few miles, you know? That's the worst case scenario. Or you don't, like it's not like you think you're not gonna finish. So, how's it feel? Weak. Week one. How many weeks you got? Nine. Nine weeks. And what race are you running in? The Philadelphia Half Marathon, 13.1 miles. Have you ever ran 13.1 miles? So, oh, wow. Margaret. Timothy. What do you feel about training for a race? Of this magnitude. I think you're forcing me to run today. Really? Yeah. Do you feel that way? Yeah. So how far did you run? A little under two miles. Yeah? Yes. I think. How do you feel right now? I feel tired. Yeah? Yes. But you got the first one done. That's got to feel good. 13 miles is a far away. Well, my, tr my lap was 3.4, but I had to stop for a half a mile, and then I ran the last half a mile. She walked. It was your first day, so that's good. You're not looking at me. I'm tired. Oh, really? You don't like when the camera's in your face? No. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> it's not easy. Margaret has a running injury. Let's take a zoom in. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah. Zoom a little closer. How long does it take for that to heal? Probably like a month. You think? Yeah. I mean, it, it'll... It's not going to come off, is it? It might. It doesn't feel like it's going to be... I don't think so, because it's like a blood blister, basically. Maybe you should take a shower after you run. I did take a shower. What's that stinky smell? Probably you. I wasn't even really breathing heavy when I was done. Even with the cold weather? Yeah. That's a good run. I don't think so. Well, I think so. I'm not happy with it. Well, again tomorrow you can work on it. Tomorrow? Yeah. I think I might rest tomorrow. Maybe, well, when was the last day you ran? Did you run yesterday? No. Well, okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, so I'll see you tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Well, I, was, I ran as a little kid, like I ran St. Dennis track, and I was like the fastest girl in the, the whatever schoolyard, it was always me and Carlisle Green. Um, I just got out of running, and then I didn't really run until I was turned 30, and then 31, and I was, started doing like 5Ks, and <clears throat> I started 
winning some of them. <laughs> I was like, this is kind of cool. So, um, just, you know, when you start winning and stuff, it was like, okay, it kind of gets good. But I, I really like the, the end, like the finish line, like you're done, you're... Yeah. In fact, I, like, I hate it running and I just wanted to get it over with. So I just, I think that's why I was fast. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh my God, there's the finish line. Let's like, let's just go for it. You know, like, thank God. I just need this run for my, my therapy, my own little therapy session with myself. I mean, like, it's good to talk things out, but sometimes you just got to like work it out in your head and see like, okay, what's on the forefront and running will tell me what's on the forefront. If there's one thing that makes you feel alive, I think it's running. I mean, I love biking. I love swimming, but running, it's like the whole, all the senses are going, all the, the, the blood is pumping, the lungs are breathing, every cell in your body is working and it just makes you feel so alive and that's why I really love running. It was filming his acting battery on my legs. <laughs> Getting some exercise. Busy. Yesterday I was running in Haver College and he was filming out of bushes. <laughs> I came around a trail and there he was. What are you literally Show me my warrant. So gay. That's like the gayest thing I've ever seen. I have to, I'm shooting a movie for school. Is it a gay movie? No, it's about her running. So any chance I see her where she can run, I have to try to get her. <laughs> this is like week four. October 17th, 18th, October 18th, 2011. I ran 5.7 miles today. I had an asthma attack because I forgot to take my inhaler. And I'm just finally starting to calm down. So I'm going to try to go to class. But today took a lot out of me. music sucks. It's not supposed to, you're supposed to enjoy it. <laughs> really? I'm not enjoying it, it's giving me a headache. Well, when you hear it for 20 minutes, you won't even notice it anymore. <laughs> That's definitely going in the film. Congratulations. It is October 29th. Out of nowhere, snow. Be running eight miles today. Kelly's in my flu. Somebody's chickening out. I'm still gone. -ho. Well, maybe a little. Break your ankle. Break your ankle. <laughs> yeah, you, your face looks fine when you do that. Thanks. Even more reason to run today. Maggie couldn't get her running today, so she burned the calories cleaning the bathroom. I know you think the bathroom cleans itself, but actually there's a person that cleans it. Can't wait to meet her. <laughs> well, another day, another 5.7 miles. A little windy, a little damp, but overall it was a good day to run. I'm glad that um, I talked myself into doing it because I was just close to like skipping today. I didn't feel good, but now I feel a lot better. I have, now it's done. And it's only lunchtime, so I still have the rest of the day. <laughs> um. Only five days left till the race. I ran, uh, we're on cool down week. We're up to nine miles last week. 
This week I'm doing, I did 3.4 today in 31 minutes, which is a lot better than it's been the past couple weeks. And tomorrow I'm going to run 5.7, and, and I want to try to be under an hour. That will give me a 10 minute pace for half the race. I got you play with your balls on that. Nice. So I'm going to run really dry here. 8.5. My wife ran it yesterday, an hour and 35 minutes. If I can't beat that, I'm gonna kill myself. And Mike's gonna get my car. Fucking tired. Hey, the shit the last two miles. Eight and a half miles. It's about an hour and 24 minutes. The first half was 40 minutes, 45 minutes. So I was a lot faster with problems on the last mile. Or two, so I probably would have been a couple minutes faster. <clears throat> but um, I'm glad I'm done. It's my favorite part of working out. See Official photographers that uh, have been with us all weekend long. Thanks so much, you guys. Jennifer, Jen, Elaine, Christopher. So you sign up, and then as it gets closer and closer, then you think, oh shit, I have to run 13 miles in five weeks. So you start training, and I um, was pestered by my husband, who was filming documentary, that I needed to film all this stuff. So the motivation is the documentary, the motivation is you're running 13 miles, the motivation is you want to make, get in shape, so that's why I did it. I learned that I need more time to train. I saw myself short. I have a big ego, and I think that I can train faster than I can, and I think that if I had another two or three weeks to train, I would have been over my flu that my wife gave me, <laughs> and I probably would have ran it about a half hour faster. Wow, that's so, bold. I have no desire to run over 13 miles. I would love to keep my time in the Philly Marathon, so I would definitely probably run it again. The Philly half? I would probably do it again. Uh, I definitely want to run the same course again and beat my time, because that time was, I'm not happy with it. I'm happy with it for my first time ever being sick, but I think I could do a lot better than that. Tim, aka my husband, ran it in two hours and 12 minutes. I ran it in two hours and 46 minutes. So I was about a half hour behind.